I wanted to upload this round of Rush on Operation Metro in Battlefield 4 because of how much it reminded me of the good old Battlefield 3 days, and I'll tell you why. I was playing with my friend Stotzi and we joined this 32 player Rush server. Metro was on and we joined in the second base as an attacker. I went 27 and 3 within 8 minutes playing with an AK-12 with nothing but a coyote side and a vertical grip. The reason this game reminded me so much of the Battlefield 3 times was because back then 32 players was the maximum amount of players you could have on one server. It wasn't until Battlefield 4 that we could have up to 64 players, so Metro wasn't as much of a chaos back then. Also, back on Battlefield 3 I used to have my own server on the PlayStation 3. We were running Metro only 24-7 with 400% tickets. This resulted in amazing games that sometimes lasted nearly 2 hours and we'd end up with 200 to 300 kills. This is how we spent our evenings back then, playing Metro for hours and hours on end. To this day, that is some of the most fun I've had in any video game ever, so when I joined this server, I felt right at home. To me, Metro never really got boring, despite spending, I can only guess, a couple hundred hours on this map. Even today, 10 years after Battlefield 3 was released, Metro is probably still my favorite map to play. This leads me to the first thing I want to talk about in this video. Is Metro the best map in Battlefield history? I'd say most Battlefield players either love or hate Metro. There's no in between. You either hate the chaos or you embrace it. The thing is, Metro needs to be played in a particular way to be enjoyable, at least to me. And that is on Rush with 32 to a maximum of 48 players. 64 players is too much. It just leads to bottlenecks and grenade spam. I also never really liked playing it on Conquest. Most games would end up with one team pushing the other towards their own flag or even their base. I never really found joy in this. Neither as someone being pushed back, nor as someone pushing the other team back. I find it rather boring. With 32 to 48 players on Rush, however, it leads to a beautifully action-packed chaos. Sometimes it feels like you're running against a literal wall of defense, and there doesn't seem to be a way you're ever gonna get to that MCOM. But it only needs one decent push from a single squad to break through one of the few choke points and plant the bomb. And then the action continues straight away as you're trying to defend it. That's what I've always loved about Metro trying and trying over and over again, until you finally manage to break through. I think this is the sense of pride and accomplishment EA was talking about all along. Having said all this, this is also why I desperately want to see Rush, as well as community servers, make a return in Battlefield 2042. I've talked about why I think Rush is the best game mode in Battlefield in another video. We've had breakthrough on Battlefield 5, but it just isn't really the same. I also think Rush is best played with 32 to a maximum of 48 players, because 64 players is just too much for a game mode centered around two points on the map. It removes a lot of the tactical elements of Rush and turns the map into a giant pile of chaos. As for the community servers, I think most Battlefield players always appreciated being able to adjust the settings of each server to their liking. One of the most popular choices being the increase of the tickets so rounds would last longer. Community servers allow us to tailor our Battlefield experience to what we most enjoy. The map rotation, the amount of players and the server settings keeps players engaged with the game much longer if they can search and join a server that offers exactly what they're looking for, instead of having to play a game mode they don't like on a map they don't like. 
If I could choose a single battlefield server for the rest of my life, it would still be 32 player rush, metro only, 400% tickets. So I really hope that I can play something similar on Battlefield 2042 again. I'll leave you to the rest of the gameplay now. If you've watched all the way, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. It would help me out a lot. Till next time on the battlefield.